Hi, it's Jackie. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own page layouts, combining templates in Noteshelf. So in this video, I'll show you how to create new page layouts by combining other overlays or templates that you've already got. Once you can do this, the combinations are obviously endless and you'll be able to design your own pages. And most importantly, they're made by you, so they're designed to fit your needs. And we like anything that's bespoke. So um, if you ever get the feeling that a layout isn't quite what you want, uh, if only that was over there, maybe if I had some lines next to these, this will be a perfect tutorial for you. So in this example, I'm going to combine header boxes, headed uh, boxes with lined paper. So I want three boxes on the left, I, and then I'd like some lines next to each box over on the right. So to do this, we'll need to crop each page. So first I'll pull in the boxes. So I'm just going to screen split my screen and I'm going to grab these ones here. So I've just got some plain boxes with some little headers. I'll just get that out the way for the time being. And I'm going to get this full page size so I can see. Let's put that up there. There we go. So that's roughly where I want it. Now, when you first bring it in, you'll get the option, as you can see here, to edit. Now, if for any reason that you tap off accidentally, um, you, all you need to do is just tap once again and you see the edit option. What you don't want to do is use the lasso tool and lasso an area. But what happens when you do that is if you have a look, you've got the option to resize, but that doesn't take us to the cropping. We want to be able to crop this. So to do that, we need to edit. So just tap once and hit edit. So we're now in the crop area and I'm going to use these little grab handles. I'm going to drag it over so I've got three boxes here. Let's drag that down a little bit, a bit close to the top. And yeah, that's probably fine. So make sure that's in between those boxes. So when you're happy with the changes, if you can see bottom right, you've got apply. And then once I've applied that, I can check that I'm happy and I can hit done. So you can see it's shrunk it down again. So we'll resize it and we'll pop it over here on the left. And I'm going to tap off. So the next thing I need to do is add lines. So we're going to screen share again. And this time I'm going to grab just a page full of lines. Let me just close that out of the way. So here we go. Here are my lines. What I'm going to do is make it bigger so I know roughly the right scale. So I think that's about right. So let's have a look. So if I line this up against the first box here, I probably want the first top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lines. So I'm going to keep nine and I'm going to get rid of the rest. So because we've just dragged this in, if you look at the top, we've got the option to edit. Again, if you've accidentally come off, just tap the lines and you'll get that option as well. So I want to keep the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, you probably can't see this very well. And we're gonna just drag this up. I think that's nine. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. So I'm happy with that. I'll probably bring this down a little bit as well. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to shrink it left to right, because obviously my boxes are taking up roughly a third. So if I take off about a third, that should that should do it. So I'm gonna tap apply bottom right and then done when I'm happy with my change. So now I have my new version, mini version. So I'm going to bring this back up and scale it back to where it was. And that's about right. So now I'm happy with that. I want to be able to duplicate it. So I'm going to tap off. I'm going to just lasso. I'm going to hit copy, tap off, tap and hold for paste. And we're going to reposition this one, line it up with the box on the left and the lines on the top. And again, we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna tap and hold, paste, and drag that into position, and then we can tap off. So now I've got my little goal setting boxes on the left, and then I can write some notes or maybe some a checklist of bullet points on the right. So I've got a new page, which is just made for me. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks.